The Life and Sad Ending of Mary Clayton Mary Clayton was born in Girtown, New Orleans, Louisiana. She was born on Christmas Day and was given the name Mary because of the December 25th birth date. She is the daughter of Eva B. Clayton and Reverend A. G. Williams Clayton Sr. Clayton was raised in New Orleans as a Christian and spent much of her time in her father's parish, New Zion Baptist Church. After moving to Los Angeles, she met members of the Blossoms, who convinced her to pursue a music career. Clayton began her recording career in 1962, at the age of 14. She first sang on Who Can I Count On, as a duet with Bobby Darin, on his album You're the Reason I Am Living. In 1963, she recorded the first released version of the Shoop Shoop song, the same year that Betty Everett's version reached the top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. Early in her career, Clayton performed with Ray Charles. At the time, Charles was the only artist her father would allow her to see at a live performance. Clayton is best known for her 1969 duet with Mick Jagger on the Rolling Stones song Gimme Shelter. According to Jagger, the collaboration happened partially by chance. Jagger stated that the band thought, ITD be great to have a woman come to do the chorus. They called Clayton randomly in the middle of the night, and she showed up to the studio in curlers and contributed her parts in a few takes, which Jagger remarked was pretty amazing. Clayton performed her parts while pregnant, soon afterward suffering a miscarriage. Some have attributed the miscarriage to the physical strain from her exertions during the recording. Clayton was actually the band's second choice for the part. The Stones had asked Bonnie Bramlett to sing on the song, but Bramlett's husband Delaney refused to let her perform with the Stones. Along with her frequent partner Clyde E. King, Clayton also sang backing vocals on Leonard Skinner's Sweet Home Alabama. In 1970, Clayton recorded her own version of Gimme Shelter, and it became the title track of her debut solo album, released that year. Her solo version peaked at the top 73 on the pop charts. Her version would be the first of five singles under her name to crack the Billboard Hot 100. That same year, she performed a live version of Lift Every Voice and Sing for the soundtrack for the Robert Altman film, Brewster McCloud, and also contributed vocals to Donald Camel and Nicholas Roeg's film, Performance. In 1971, she co-wrote the song Show Nuff about her mother. In 1972, she starred as the original Acid Queen in the first London production of The Who's Tommy. In 1973, she featured prominently on Ringo Starr's Oh My My, which reached Billboard's Top 10 the following year. In the mid-1970s Clayton sang on the Blackbird's R&B hit Rock Creek Park, and continued to release solo albums throughout the next decade, notching several minor R&B chart singles. Her soundtrack work continued into the 1980s, including You're Always There When I Need You, the title track for the 1980 Get Smart film The Nude Bomb, and the song Yes from Dirty Dancing, which hit the top 45 on the Hot 100. In the mid-1980s, Clayton was in the gospel group Brilliance, formed by Della Reese. The other members were O.C. Smith, Vermidia Royster, and Eric Strom. They released an album on Atlanta International Records in 1986. In 1987, Clayton co-starred with Ali Sheedy in the film Made to Order. That same year, Clayton also played the character Verna D. Jordan in the final season of Cagney and Lacey. In 1989, Clayton recorded a cover version of Almost Paradise with Eric Carmen. In 1994, Clayton sang on backing vocals and also the bridge for Man with the Golden Gun Toria Moss hit Cornflake Girl. In 2006, Clayton provided background vocals for Sparta's album Threes, on the songs Atlas and Translations. Clayton was featured in the documentary film 20 Feet from Stardom, which premiered at the Sundance Film Festival, and went on to win the Oscar for Best Documentary at the 86th Academy Awards. 
20 Feet from Stardom also won the 2015 Grammy Award for Best Music Film, with the award being presented to the featured artists, in addition to the production crew for the film. In 2014, Clayton provided vocals for G Love and Special Sauce's album Sugar. In 2015, Clayton was featured on two tracks of Coldplay's album A Head Full of Dreams. Throughout her career as a backup singer, Clayton's singing can be heard on songs by Pearl Bailey, Phil Ox, Burt Bacharach, Tom Jones, Joe Cocker, Linda Ronstadt, Carol King, and on several tracks from Neil Young's debut album. Clayton is often credited as having recorded with Elvis Presley but her name does not appear in Elvis sessionographies. Clayton has been sampled in various songs, most notably Watch for the Hook by Cool Breeze featuring Goody Mob, and Supergroup Outcast. On June 25, 2019, The New York Times Magazine listed Mary Clayton among hundreds of artists whose material was reportedly destroyed in the 2008 Universal Fire. Clayton was married to jazz artist Curtis Amy from 1970 until his death in 2002. Her brother is the Little Feet percussionist Sam Clayton. Clayton had a miscarriage upon returning home from recording Gimme Shelter, according to the Los Angeles Times. On June 16, 2014, Clayton was severely injured in a car collision in Los Angeles, California. Both of Clayton's legs were later amputated at the knees due to her suffering profound trauma to her lower extremities as a result of the accident. 